is buying a pre-construction condo in a high rise a good idea right now? In this video, I'm gonna go over three things that you should definitely be aware of before purchasing a condo in a pre-construction high rise, because if not, you could get yourself into some trouble. People have made boatloads of money in the past buying these types of properties, but things have changed and there are some new things you're gonna wanna know before you consider buying one of these. Because I've had people reaching out to me with properties that they wish to sell assignments that they've purchased in 2019 that they have made no money on. I'm Nat AJ Kelly, a realtor out here in the Fraser Valley, and I actually specialize in pre-construction properties and listings as well. And if you want early access into the latest pre-construction deals, you can sign up to the Equity Club using the link below in my description. Imagine holding real estate for five years only to make zero dollars, no money at all, in a market that's actually risen quite substantially from the day that you purchased the property. And that is the reality for a bunch of people who bought these high rise condos in 2018, 19, even as far back as 2016, depending on the area that you bought it in. So these people are reaching out to me looking to assign their units. And after I run the numbers, there's no profit in the deal. So how does this happen? Because obviously the market's gone up 30 to 40% since the time that these people have purchased these units. Like I said, I'm, you know, pretty active in the pre-construction market. And I got quoted yesterday for a 490 some odd square feet, one bedroom unit on the, it's like the 21st floor, the 22nd floor, something like that, $615,000. Once you include GST, which is a, an additional 5% on top of the purchase price, and then you divide that by the square footage of the unit, you will find that this unit is almost 1300 bucks a square foot. Now keep in mind, this unit was located on a higher floor and typically higher floors, you know, cost a premium to buy into and you get some of that money back when you sell. However, if I go on the MLS right now, I can find similar units that are one to three years old priced around a thousand bucks a square foot. So you're paying after tax a 30% premium to buy this unit right now. And on top of that, you still have to pay commissions and all the other fees when you sell this unit. Meaning you basically need about a 40 to 50% increase in property values to get out of this thing in somewhat of a profit. And this kind of delta, meaning the prices between resale products, something that's already built and pre-construction, specifically concrete product is so large right now. Once you get into the wood frame sector of the market, I would say that those valuations, depending on the project are a lot more in line. Like I just did one a couple weeks ago where you were buying pre-construction wood frame at resale wood frame prices. Uh, of course, you still have to pay the GST. However, those resale and pre-sale prices are neck and neck when it comes to wood frame. So the first thing you should know about high rise condos is that they are expensive. Now ask yourself this, why would anybody buy pre-construction when you have to pay the 5% GST regardless of the situation? And mostly it's because of the flexibility that it provides to the buyer. This property won't complete for at least two to four years. I don't need to invest 20% down right now and get a mortgage. So it's great for people who know they're gonna be in a better financial position in two to four years when it comes time to getting that mortgage, or maybe even people that are just living at home or paying rent. Maybe you're paying a really low rent right now, but you know you're gonna to wanna to move in the future. So buy the pre-construction condo that completes in two to four years, or if you're living at home with your parents paying nothing, but you wanna be in the market, pre-construction is great for those kinds of people. The issue with specifically pre-construction high-rise condos is you don't even get that much flexibility. Most of the time you do get a long completion, three to five years, super long because obviously concrete takes a lot longer to build than townhomes or wood frame. However, more often than not, you'll find that the deposit structure for concrete high-rises is super robust. That usually requires 15 to 20% down and most commonly 20% down, which for me pretty much defeats the entire purpose of buying a pre-construction condo at all. If I have to put down 20%, I'll just buy something already built, start getting rent right away, not pay the premium and not pay the GST. And that's the second thing you're going to want to know before you buy a pre-construction high rise unit is that the deposit more often than not is going to be higher than other products within the pre-construction market. If I have to put down 20% to secure that unit, and then I want to sell it day of completion. Well, that also means that the ROI, my return on investment, is significantly lower than a project that I only had to put 10% down on. So even if I make money, on the pre-sale that I put my 20% deposit on, if I were to buy, make the same amount of money on a different product where I only put 10% down, well, effectively my ROI is double if I just bought the other product because I, I have half the amount of money invested. Now, all of this being said, I actually did see a high rise project that I myself would have bought 
uh, into launch earlier this year. It was just 10% deposit and it was completing in four years. And it was with a great builder and it actually launched at very reasonable prices. So prices, developer, and the terms were amazing and it made a lot of sense. However, for the most part, and actually that was the very first 10% deposit high rise that has ever launched in this area. So usually not the case, this one was an outlier. Lastly, when you buy a pre-construction unit, obviously you wanna look at the numbers for the cash flow when you actually do complete on this, get a mortgage and rent it out and what those numbers look like. So what do they look like at completion? Well, the first thing I'm gonna tell you is the typical strata fees for wood frame is about 40 to 50 cents a square foot where the typical strata fees for a high rise is about 60 to 70 cents a square foot. So the average for wood frame is about 45 and then the average for high rises is about 65. Concrete is also about 20% more expensive than the same unit that would be in wood frame. So you've paid 20% more for the concrete unit. Your strata fees are like 30% higher and you've put down a higher deposit. Do we get any additional rent for this? No. We don't. A 500 square foot one bedroom in a concrete high rise will be pretty much the exact same rent as a 500 square foot one bedroom rent in a wood frame building, assuming all things are the same, other than the fact that one is wood and one is concrete. The only difference is in the concrete, you might get an extra 100 to $150 a month in rent if it's you know located on a super high floor with a nice view or something like that. But keep in mind, again, you're paying for that. Now, all of this being said, pre-construction can be an amazing investment and I've had tons of clients make a ton of money buying these units, but overall, there are some more things you're gonna wanna know about the entire process. So I put another video here outlining that, that I would highly recommend that you watch. Otherwise, subscribe for more. See you next time.